Walking is one of the most basic and natural human activities, but it can also be a powerful way to express your femininity and confidence. If you are a trans woman or a crossdresser who wants to improve your walk, you might be wondering how to achieve a more graceful and feminine gait. In this video, we will share with you some tips and tricks on how to walk like a woman, based on our experience as a YouTube channel and a community of trans people. We will also show you some examples of how other trans women and crossdressers have mastered their walk and how you can learn from them. Why walking like a woman matters. Walking like a woman is not just about looking good, it's also about feeling good. Walking like a woman can help you. Enhance your feminine appearance and body language. Boost your self-esteem and confidence. Attract positive attention and compliments. Avoid unwanted attention and harassment. Have fun and enjoy your femininity. Walking like a woman is not something that you are born with, it's something that you can learn and practice. It's also not something that you have to do all the time, it's something that you can choose to do whenever you feel like it. Walking like a woman is not a requirement for being a woman, it's an option for expressing your womanhood. The basics of walking like a woman. Before we get into the details of how to walk like a woman, let's review some of the basic differences between the typical male and female walk. These differences are not absolute, as there is a lot of variation among individuals and cultures, but they can serve as general guidelines for improving your walk. Posture. The first thing to pay attention to is your posture. Your posture affects how you carry yourself, how you breathe, and how you project your energy. A good posture can make you look taller, slimmer, and more elegant. To achieve a feminine posture, follow these steps. Stand up straight with your shoulders back and down, your chest out, and your chin up. Align your ears, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles in a straight line. Engage your core muscles to support your spine and pelvis. Relax your arms by your sides or hold them slightly away from your body. Balance your weight evenly on both feet. Stride. The next thing to consider is your stride. Your stride is the length and width of your steps as well as the speed and rhythm of your walk. A feminine stride is usually shorter, narrower, and smoother than a masculine one. To achieve a feminine stride, follow these steps. Take small steps with your feet close together. Avoid taking long or wide steps that make you look clumsy or aggressive. Place one foot in front of the other as if you are walking on a thin line. This will create a slight zigzag pattern that adds grace and movement to your walk. Step lightly with the ball of your foot first, then roll onto your heel. Avoid stomping or dragging your feet on the ground. Walk at a moderate pace that matches your mood and environment. Avoid walking too fast or too slow that makes you look nervous or bored. Hips. The most noticeable feature of a feminine walk is the sway of the hips. The hips are the center of gravity and the source of power for the walk. A feminine hip sway is subtle but sensual, creating curves and motion that attract the eye. To achieve a feminine hip sway, follow these steps. Loosen up your hips by doing some stretches or exercises that target them. You can also try wearing heels or wedges that force you to use your hips more. Shift your weight from side to side as you walk, letting your hips lead the way. Imagine that there is a string attached to your navel that pulls you forward. Rotate your pelvis slightly forward as you step, creating an arch in your lower back. This will accentuate your butt and make it look rounder. Keep your upper body still and relaxed as you sway your hips. Avoid moving your shoulders or arms too much that distracts from your hips. The advanced techniques for walking like a lady. Now that you have mastered the basics of how to walk like a woman, let's take it to the next level with some advanced techniques that can add more flair and personality to your walk. These techniques are optional but fun to try out. Head. Your head is where you express your emotions, intentions, and interests. Your head movement can also affect how others perceive you and react to you. A feminine head movement is usually gentle and playful, showing curiosity and confidence. To achieve a feminine head movement, follow these steps. Tilt your head slightly to one side as you walk, creating an angle that softens your features and exposes your neck. Nod or shake your head slightly as you talk or listen, showing that you are engaged and attentive. Look around with your eyes, not your whole head, as you scan your surroundings. Make eye contact with people or things that interest you, but don't stare or look away too quickly. Smile with your eyes and mouth, showing that you are happy and friendly. Avoid frowning or pursing your lips that make you look angry or tense. Hands. Your hands are where you express your gestures, actions, and preferences. Your hand movement can also affect how you interact with objects and people. 
A feminine hand movement is usually delicate and graceful, showing finesse and elegance. To achieve a feminine hand movement, follow these steps. Keep your hands relaxed and open, not clenched or closed. Avoid making fists or pointing fingers that make you look aggressive or rude. Hold your hands slightly away from your body, not too close or too far. Avoid crossing your arms or putting your hands in your pockets that make you look defensive or insecure. Move your hands gently and fluidly as you talk or walk, not too fast or too slow. Avoid waving your hands wildly or keeping them still that make you look nervous or bored. Touch yourself or others lightly and appropriately as you communicate or connect. Avoid grabbing or pushing that make you look desperate or rude. Feet. Your feet are where you express your direction, destination, and balance. Your foot movement can also affect how you move and stand. A feminine foot movement is usually precise and elegant, showing control and poise. To achieve a feminine foot movement, follow these steps. Point your toes slightly inward as you walk, not outward or straight. Avoid turning your feet too much, that make you look clumsy or awkward. Cross your ankles as you stand, not your legs or knees. Avoid spreading your legs too wide, that make you look vulgar or masculine. Pivot on your toes as you turn, not on your heels or whole foot. Avoid making sharp or sudden turns, that make you look stiff or robotic. Lift your heels slightly as you walk, not too high or too low. Avoid dragging or lifting your feet too much that make you look lazy or unnatural. Walking like a woman is not a skill that you can master overnight, it's a habit that you can develop over time. It's also not a rule that you have to follow strictly, it's a guideline that you can adapt to your own preferences and situations. Walking like a woman is not a chore that you have to do reluctantly, it's a joy that you can do willingly. We hope that this video has given you some useful information and inspiration on how to walk like a woman. We encourage you to practice your walk regularly and experiment with different styles and techniques. We also invite you to join our YouTube channel about TG Life and our community of trans people who support each other, inspire each other, and celebrate each other. Remember, walking like a woman is not about being someone else, it's about being yourself. We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey, and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.